All right, everyone, I'm ready to go back into the fray. Oh boy. This sure seems like a tough, que a tough quest, no? Here, or are we done with this quest? Shit. Oh, what's that? What's that? Scamp? Is that a scamp? I think it's a scamp. I ain't afraid of no scamp. Get out of the bedroom. You sleeping in the bed? Scamp sleeping in the bed. A scamp skin? That's you skin the damn thing? Jeez. Oh no. Oh. I found the body of Count Goldwine. I should deliver the signet ring to Savly and Mattias. He's dead. That sucks. That really sucks. He's been slaughtered by the stupid scan. Oh, excuse me, guys. Sorry about that. Whew. Gassy tonight. I don't know why. All I had was a chicken. Barbecue chicken for dinner. I don't know why I'm gassy. Silver herb. What is that? Fruit? Some fruit. An hourglass. A bunch of books. A paintbrush. What's that? Money? Quill. Can I repair my, uh... Oh, no. Can I repair my sword again? Nice! Armor skill is increased. Cool. All my stuff's about to break again. I'm just gonna take my fucking gloves off. They break too often. These flame-resistant gloves are shit. They're so weak. Look, everything out. Mudcrab shield 98, right? Super armor 2? All right, I guess I'm taking the super armor off. I'm going shirtless. It's going to break anyway. I might as well take it off, right? I guess I'm good with everything else. <laughs> A shirtless warrior. Ah, oh, yes. Look at me. Look at me. And my chest. I beat my chest. <clears throat> yes. So we're done. We can leave now, right? Slayer says, I have put, uh... Carl Jr. says, always keep some non-enchanting equipment for repairing. Slayer says, well, I put in so much time exploring every single possible location. I did all the Witcher contracts to collect the main game Gwent cards, including the DLC areas and missions. Damn! You have completely Witchered yourself out. You've exhausted all Witcher options. Which I guess is a good thing. It means you really like the game, right? <clears throat> That's cool. I did too. I certainly didn't play Ultra Completionist though. All right. Wait, you stood here and waited for me? You fucking asshole. Why didn't you help? Where is the count? <clears throat> Why is he not with you? Because he's very dead. Here you go. We, we were too late. If only we'd gotten here sooner. This is indeed a dark day for all of us left. But I thank you for risking your own life to help us. Did you find the Count's ring by any chance? Oh, shit! Sick. Why don't you go get it, you fucking lazy ass? Why do I have to get the fucking ring? You stupid dick. <laughs> now I gotta hear it. Might as well get some athletics while I'm doing this. You fucking jerk. Tell me, did you get the ring? Oh, you get the fucking ring. You stand here doing nothing. What are you doing on your fucking phone probably reading news? Right? He's probably eating and shit. Making TikTok videos. Here I am in the castle. Some asshole's doing the work for me. <laughs> fucking jerk. The, this is it? The bur Oh, no. The signet ring. Okay. Let's just deal with gold. Here we go. <clears throat> ah! I jumped in the fire. Burned my own nutsack. My Argonian nuts. <laughs> ah! I toasted them. Do you have the Count's ring? Here, take it and shut up. At least this is safe. Thank you. I shall make sure it is protected for the time when a new Count is crowned. Here, take this. I have no use for it. I'm tired of fighting. It may serve you well in days to come. 
The Colobian signet ring removed and a Kavach curious. He gave me... Oh, that's good. I need that. My bat, my armor's fucked up. Tell me more. Why do I need to persuade him? What? You see. Why would I need to persuade him? All right, I can put on that curious now. There you go. Which is funny because that's exactly what this is too, right? It literally is, only I enchanted that one. This is unenchanted. All right, that works out. Now I have a bonus armor, backup armor, right? That's nice. Okay, Gray Vest is winning. Holy shit, the Gray Vest for tonight. That really surprises me. We haven't seen the Gray Vest in a very long time. Well, thank you guys for voting for it. I appreciate that. Let's get it. I totally forgot I had it. I'm not even kidding. Earlier today, I walked in the closet. I looked, I was like, oh, I have a Gray Vest. I don't even remember I had it. It's, it's actually the most comfortable vest out of all of them. Oh, the most comfy vest possible. Very nice. Very good. Gray for a night. There you go. Dark Gullbox says, how you doing? Did you like Hi-Fi Rush? I thought it was all right. We beat an entire other stage, which was actually two chapters. So basically it was like two worlds in one. Um, and we started like maybe half of a third world. It's all right. It's getting more advanced. Um, but it still kind of feels like an older game. I, I, I think it's alright, but a lot of people are like freaking out thinking it's so good. I don't know why they think it's so good. I like it, but I don't love it. Slayer says he started playing Dead Rising 3. Apparently the addition he has the lost weapon schematics already made. Oh, a lot of the weapon schematics already made. Wait, he took it... That was his armor? He's... Wow. He gave me the armor right off his back. Huh. Are we done now? Did we finish the quest line? Jeez. You know what? 21? They weigh 21 pounds? They weigh 21 pounds. Holy shit, those greaves are heavy as fuck. But I was like, I want to wear them because that way when they break, I can keep repairing them. And that's going to level up my, my blacksmithing, right? He's actually done. He says he's done fighting. He's going to retire. Seriously. He's retiring after this fight? Damn. I mean, all his friends died, so I guess I could kind of see why. All his, his whole fucking crew died, right? Damn. Dark. All right. So are we good now? Are we, uh, did we finish, like, the whole quest line? Now we can go maybe do the one with what's his name? Oh, uh, I forgot his Mark. Ma and get a score. Ma and to the Cloud Temple. So everyone remember that I have a bunch of repair hammers in the chapel here, and we can come back and get them later if we need them. But I certainly don't need them now. Like I feel like that would be a waste. <clears throat> Ma Ann. In fact, it's a quest item. Never mind. I'm going to put the vampire life sucker in there. I'm going to put. These really shitty flame resistant gloves in there. They're terrible. They're seriously bad. Um The river walking boots are good, but I'm only gonna use them when I need them to walk on water. I'm not gonna leave them on otherwise. I'm gonna put the super armor away. Yeah. So basically I'm gonna have the mud crab shield. The curious I'll be able to repair. And the greaves I'll be able to repair. I guess I have to find more. I have to find more gloves, and more uh, boots. More gloves and more boots. But remember, I have them in here. Okay, we'll have to come back for these later. <clears throat> okay. 
Do I have a house of mine for Hogwarts Legacy? I'm gonna let the game auto choose. I'm not going to uh I'm not gonna choose myself. I'm gonna let the game decide what it wants. So Alright. So we did that. Now we should go talk to my Anne. Uh All right, we gotta go to Wayne Priory. Wait, why are we going to? We're going to Cloud Ruler Temple. We are. Why am I here? I guess I'm supposed to be here. Did Martin come here by himself? You fucker! Where the hell is he? I don't remember where we left him. Where are they? It doesn't tell you where they are. Ugh. Martin ditched? <laughs> he ditched. Items will just spawn from chest of containers over time. There's some exceptions. Oh, well, I guess I'm fucked because I already left. There's somewhere on the road in between. How is that even possible? No, there's no way. They got to be back at that house. Where do we? Where were they? Wayne and Priory? They're at Wayne and Priory. That's where they are. Where is that? I don't remember where that is. Where's Wayne and Priory? Here it is. They're totally at Wayne and Priory. They're waiting for me because I never told them. Oh, God, they're still dead. I never told them to go on the mission. I guess they're not. Where are they? I've been playing this game for like a month. There's no fucking way that they're on the road and didn't make it there yet. What is it, Sarah? Oranor. Oh, God. I don't know what's going on. Don't tell me it broke. What should I do? Does anyone know where they are? Where are they? Where the fuck are they? I already went to Cloud Temple. They're not there. I literally just went to Cloud Temple and they're not there. Look.
hello. Let's continue on to Cloud Ruler Temple. I haven't had a good night's sleep since Kavach was attacked. Okay, Sean Bean. The sooner we reach Cloud Ruler Temple, the better. Lead on. I'm just not going to say a word. I'm just going to pretend like nothing happened. We're just going to... That was a nice, smooth transition, right? All right, Martin. Let's go. A nice, smooth transition. What the? You guys... Oh, you guys came on horse, huh? You guys came in style. I just... I teleported. All right. It opened, even though I didn't have a key. I've put myself in your hands. It's disturbing. I don't know about that. Oh, Jesus. Grandmaster, is this... Yes, Cyrus. This is the Emperor's son, Martin Sepp. Wow. My lord, welcome to Cloud Ruler Temple. We have not had the honor of an Emperor's visit in many years. Ah, well, thank you. The honor is mine. Come. Your blades are waiting to greet you. The blades serve the new emperor. <clears throat> Sean Bean. What are his most notable roles? Obviously, Lord of the Rings, right? Where he played uh, uh, Boromir, correct? And then, of course, as Ned Stark in the first season of Game of Thrones. But outside of that, what else, what are his other notable roles would you guys say? Blade. What else has he done? Dark times are upon us. The Emperor and his sons were slain on our watch. The Empire is in chaos. But there is yet hope. Here is Martin Septim, true son of Uriel Septim. Hail, Hail Dragonborn! Dragonborn. Hail, 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 Hail Martin Septim! Septim. Hail. Hail! Your Highness, someone's voice didn't match. Your command. You will be Whose voice was standing out? Not matching. Joffrey, all of you. I know you all expect me to be emperor. I'll do my best. But this is all new to me. I'm not used to giving speeches, but... I, I wanted you to know that I appreciate your welcome here. So here we go. Ready? The good son. He was the father and the good son. I didn't know that. Troy. He was in Troy? I don't remember that. Alec and 007... National Treasure. He was the villain in National Treasure, wasn't he? Um, The guy you kill in Hitman? Is he? He was an enemy in Hitman? You guys are totally missing out. How could you forget his epic role as the father in the Silent Hill movie and sequel? How could you leave that out? Silent Hill. Come on, guys. I Jeez. hope I prove myself worthy of your loyalty in the coming days. That's it. Thank you. Well, then. Thank you, Martin. We'd all best get back to our duties, eh, Captain? Not oh! much of a speech, was it? Didn't seem to bother them, though. The blade saluting me and hailing me as Martin Septim. I don't mean to sound ungrateful. I know I would be dead by now if it weren't for you. Thank you. But everyone expects me to suddenly know what to do, how to behave. They want an emperor to tell them what to do. And I haven't the faintest idea. <laughs> Okay, I gotta ask a question. What is up with Oblivion that when you talk to an NPC like this, it's the camera, it does extreme zoom in snapping to their face. It's like, okay, so you're just walking along and someone's next to you and you turn to them to say something and they go, hey, I need to talk to you about something now. Hey. <laughs> it's like, uh -huh, uh -huh. what was that noise? Oh, were you talking to me? To me? Me? Do you see? There's a booger in my nose. Can you get it for me while you're that close? Can you? <laughs> what is up with the camera in this game? It's so jarring. It's like a jump scare every time someone wants to talk to you. Like, what happened? <sighs> calm down, man. Oblivion, calm down. You're a good game, but man, you're trying to scare me. I just finished playing Dead Space Remake. All right? Holy shit. Okay, anyway. <clears throat> Here we go. We need to get the amulet back. Of course. The 
the Amulet of Kings. So we, I, can take it to the Temple of the One and light the dragon fires. The dragon fires. And stop the Oblivion invasion. Yes. And most of them look like mutants. I mean, that's just because of the age of the game. That's that's a little different than the interesting. I don't, I can't even name another game. Can you name another game where the camera does that? Where, like, you're just minding your own business. And all of a sudden, there's a, si a sound to your side. You turn, you say, hey, what's going on? I say, hey, what's going on? Can you help me with something? Oh. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what they were thinking. It's so disturbing. It's so jarring. And this, this apparently, you know, they never fixed it or nothing. They just left it. It's fine. Okay. Sure. All right. You will be the emperor. The emperor? <laughs> That's an idea that will take some getting used to. In any case, we need the amulet first. Maybe Joffrey will know where to start. Weenin Priory, the path at dawn. So this is the new quest, the path at dawn. All right, let's talk to him. All practitioners of Daedric magic are familiar with the almost impenetrable barrier between our world and oblivion. What the Emperor told you implies that the amulet is the key to the preservation of that barrier. What I saw at Kavach. Everything I know about Daedric magic says that such stable portals are impossible. Yet those gates to oblivion exist. I mean, duh, yeah, we were just there. The old rules no longer apply. Kavach is only the beginning of what Mayroom's Dagon will do. If the amulet is truly the key to restoring the barriers between our world and oblivion, you must waste no time in recovering it. Okay, Daedric magic. I haven't always been a priest. In my youth, Followed a different path. stockbroker. I know more than I want to about the seductive power of Daedric crypto magic. crypto king. Let's just leave it at that. There you go. Kyoto says the funny alternative is in Skyrim you talk to a character. There's a hundred other things happening in the background. That is true too. That is very true. Hmm. No, this is Sean Bean, correct? Yeah, I believe they got they got um Patrick Stewart to be the emperor for like ten seconds till he dies. And then Sean Bean is Martin. Like, they have actually good, actual, you know, actors as a lot of the major characters in this game, I believe, right? All right, Oblivion Gate. Something has changed to make these stable portals to Oblivion possible. Joffrey believes that the death of the Emperor and the darkening of the Dragonfires is the key. Okay. So he's Don't here. He's safe me, now. He's with the Blades. They're going to protect his ass. Damn. Sir. So now we talk to Joffrey about our next leg of the quest. You have proven yourself a loyal servant of the Empire, as worthy as any of the Blades to stand by Martin's side during this crisis. As the Grand Master of the Blades, I would be honored to accept you into our order. Will you join us? No. Uh, Andy says, Andy says he's Mark Faba in Hitman 2. Ironically, he, you assassinate him. He dies in everything. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, um, what are the duties as a blade? The blades are sworn to the service of the Emperor as the mortal representative of the dragon blood of the divine Talos. I guess we should join. You get any benefits for joining? It is my honor to welcome you into our ranks as a knight brother of the blades. A Akaviri Katana. I wonder if it's any good. I have to see if it's any good. All right, Cloud Ruler Temple. This place was built by Raymond Cyrodiil Zakaviri Dragon Guard at the founding of the Second Empire. Since then, it has served the Blades as headquarters, fortress, and sanctuary. We can protect Martin here until you recover the Amulet of Kings. Okay, and what about the Amulet of Kings? Where do I get this from? You're right. We must try to recover the Amulet before the enemy takes it out of our reach. You should go back to the Imperial City. Boris may have learned something about the Assassins. You'll find Boris at Luther Broad's boarding house in the Elven Gardens district of the Imperial City. So at this point, a lot of things in the game are pointing me towards the Imperial City, right? Like now the main quest wants me to go there. A lot of side quests. You guys are saying there's an arena there. There's a lot of stuff. I mean, we do have a couple other quests I'd probably like to do before we go there. But it seems to me at this point, like it's inevitable that within the next couple of sessions of Oblivion, we're going to be heading to the Imperial City now, right? <clears throat> okay, really? Carlos says, this quest I had a lot of trouble with when I played this at first, years ago. Wow. All right. Give me 
Contact Boris. All right, let's not do... Sorry, I'm yelling out of nowhere. Let's not do that. Yet. Should we maybe do this vampire? Make your way to a crime scene at the house and investigate. Let's do that. Let's investigate <clears throat> the crime scene of someone who murdered and they're saying that he is a vampire. Let's do that. That sounds fun. So we'll do that for the rest of tonight's stream and then we'll decide, you know, we'll figure out what we want to do next time. Good evening. Let's do this. Okay. Um. Whoa. 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 I received a $2,750. No, I'm just kidding. That didn't happen. <laughs> that totally didn't happen. Hi there. Ah, get out of the way, Queen. You ah, you knocked me down the stairs, Queen. Okay. What is it now? Uh, Brandon Lyrian ha Lyrian's house. There we go. Please leave me be. You're going to have to leave. This is a crime scene, and no one other than ourselves, our Reynal Draylus, will be allowed access. Okay. Who's Reynal Draylus? The culprit in this crime has already been dealt with. It's just a matter of wrapping up the details. I'd tell you more, but frankly, I don't know who you are, so I'm not sure that I can trust you with that sort of information. Okay. Rumors or directions? What are you looking for? Oh, I don't care about this. Where can I sleep? Rumors. Good Wait day. a minute, was there another rumor? You're going... Jorgander. Arnora and Jorunda were once a happy couple, but that's over now. I hear that he took all their money and stashed it after he committed a robbery. Wow, what a nice guy. He was going to skip town on Honora, but got arrested before making good on his escape. Now she has no money left at all. Poor thing. We have a different quest. Just randomly talking to him. Good. This game's wild like that. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, she wants money. Okay, I've entered the house of a guard named Killing. He was the scene of the crime. Unless I have a guard or someone named... Unless I was a guard or someone named Randall, I should leave. Okay. All right. Let me guess. I'm going to have to break in when they're when they're gone, maybe? Do you think they leave at a certain time and then I have to sneak into the house? Right? Yes, Jade. Big tips today. Big support. I appreciate it. Everyone who supported the stream today, thank you so very much. Maybe if I wait till the middle of the night, they'll be gone. Or maybe I could use my charm spell. Don't I have a charm spell I could use on this asshole? <clears throat> Please leave me be. I, I'm sorry. I can't right now. Hmm. What do I do? Please leave me be. Halt! Excuse me. A murdered beggar. Who murdered this beggar? Why'd they do that? I don't know why they, they murdered this poor guy, right? <laughs> Are they even aware there's a, a beggar down here who's dead? Do they even know this? Because they're dealing with the body upstairs. What about the body downstairs? Excuse me. Jade, you're going to bed? All right, have a good night, man. See you tomorrow, hopefully. So what the fuck am I supposed to do here? Right? I don't know. How do I do this? Halt! Oh, my God. Shut Excuse up. Excuse me. Please leave me be. I don't 
don't really see any telltale signs Please, of anything. Baby. What the hell am I supposed to do? I don't have a way to not be detected and investigate the body, so how do I do this, right? Halt! Please leave me be. Excuse me. I have no idea how to do this. And the game's not giving me any hints either. You can't talk to the wife. You try to talk to her, she says she doesn't want to talk. So, I have a quest line that I can't do anything with. Unless I was a guard or someone named Raynal Dralis. How do I, how can I pretend to be a guard? <clears throat> Please leave me be. Oh my god. She won't talk at all. I, I'm so What about him? <clears throat> You're going to have to leave. What if I raise his disposition? I'm listening. Goodness. What can I say? You can't scare me. Really? Wanna make a bet? Not funny. Really? Interesting. That's just talk. I wish I could. Ugh. That's foul. Really? Oh, please. Get away from me. Mm -hmm. You're wasting your breath. Really not. What a great story. All right, disposition maxed. All right, I get it. I suppose ah. there's no harm in telling you okay. what happened. Word is bound to get around Bruma anyway. Turns out that Braden Lyrian is a vampire. Or was. If it wasn't for Rainiel Dralis, we may never have uncovered the truth. Let me explain. In the last week or so, We've found two bodies stashed in shallow graves outside the city walls. The bodies had puncture wounds on their necks. The bodies were those of some beggars who used to wander the streets looking for handouts. Vampire probably thought no one would miss them. Luckily for us, Raynal arrived in town. He said he was a vampire hunter, so we asked for his help. He tracked the vampire to this house. When he entered the place around noon, Braden was sleeping. He was able to slay him at that point. Luckily, Braden's wife wasn't home. Hmm. Poor thing. She didn't even know her husband was in I don't know. This just sounds we fishy. We follow-up investigation, and it's true that no one recollects seeing Braden out in the daylight. He's only been spotted at night. I'm afraid there's not much more to tell you. So, you can see we really don't need any help. But thanks for the offer. This doesn't seem legit at all. It seems like bullshit, right? It totally sounds like bullshit. As far as I know, he was a good man. I, I never saw this coming. But vampires are masters of deception, so I guess it makes sense. How could he be married to a woman and she doesn't know that he's a vampire? It doesn't make any sense at all. I'm impressed. It only took him a day to track the vampire down. I guess that's why he does it for a living. Hmm. Feel free to talk to her now. I can't believe this is happening. Please. Please, I need your help. My husband was no vampire. Yeah. It's ridiculous. No one will listen. It does to sound me. like a bunch of bullshit. Calm down. I want to help. Forgive me. I loved my husband dearly, and to lose him this way makes no sense. Anything you can do to help would be wonderful. This is all happening so fast. Tell me what happened. I came home only just a few hours ago. I found the door open. And my Braden dead. Standing over him was a Dunma. I screamed and ran out into the street. Some city watch were nearby and heard me, I suppose, as they arrived quickly. I heard the Dunma identify himself as Rainil Dralus. He said he was a vampire hunter and that Braden was his mark. The guards seemed to know about Rainil, and after a search of the house, the body of some beggar was found stashed in our basement. Well, we did find that. The guard sent for Carius, who is an investigator for crimes here in Bruma. In minutes, Rainil convinced Carius that Braden was a vampire. Isn't there a way to prove that he's a vampire? The evidence looks bad for Braden. 
Well, of course it does. It was obviously planted here. Why would he stash a body in his own house? <laughs> That's ridiculous. And another thing. The guards are making a big deal out of no one seeing Braden out in the daylight. Well, of course that's the case. He works at night and has to sleep during the day. Why does that make him a vampire? Yeah, I'm pretty sure working the night shift doesn't make you a vampire. Character. I don't trust him. The thing that bothers me the most is that I swear I've seen him before. Oh, really? Of course, he says he's never been here. Is he some kind of a scam no. artist? There isn't much more to say. Please, help me clear my husband's name. Maybe he's a scam artist, and he goes town to town claiming to be something he's not. Interesting. I have no idea where he'd be. Just find him and make him tell you the truth. I swear he's a liar. Huh. All right. So I guess we have to try to find him, right? It's probably the next part I of the quest. I know I'm desperate, but I know I'm right. Locate Raynal and ask him some questions. Start with some of the merchants and innkeepers in town. Okay. All right. Hi there. Welcome to Bruma, stranger. Hafid Hallowleg. I'm your host at Gerald View. Bed, food, whatever you need. All right, what about Raynal? Ah, you mean that vampire hunter. He's staying over at Olav's Tap and Tack. It's near the city gates. You can't miss it. There you go, that's easy. We know where that is. I saw it on the map earlier. Bye. Okay, Tap and Tack. Yes, tomorrow night is Warzone, Great Fox. That's correct. <laughs> right over here. Right at the sign that I jumped over. Make sure you have a potion of cure disease handy. Oh, really? We got four. We're good. May the wind be on your back. You hear about Jorunder? He was caught stealing gold and now he's in jail. I bet our Nora's beside herself with grief. <coughs> So long. What can I do for you today? Okay, Raynal. I usually don't give out that kind of information, especially to people I don't know. So let me guess, I gotta raise his disposition too. And once his is raised, then he'll tell me, so. All right. You're full of it. Whatever you want. That's a bit excessive, don't you think? <laughs> That's pretty good. Don't, please. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're pathetic. I doubt I'm you pathetic. really mean that. I'm not bothered. Don't, please. You're full of <laughs> nine, nice. Good one. <laughs> Don't make me no more. You're frightening me. Sure. I'm Darn. not buying that one. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not okay. buying that. Next. One. I usually don't give up. God damn it. Braden? I know I may be out of line by saying this, but I think the city guards may be wrong. It's hard to imagine Braden was a vampire. I could have sworn I saw him outside in the daylight before. Unless he just got that disease very recently, I'd say they were mistaken. When I heard Raynil killed him, 
I didn't know what to think. But after your visit here, I'm beginning to wonder. Ah, okay. I usually... Do I have to fucking bribe this guy? I really don't want to. Tell me more. See, was that hard? Thank you. How Rain is ah. staying in the last room down the hall upstairs. Here's the key. He even gives you his room key. I always liked Brayden and Arlene. They were a nice couple. I hope you get to the bottom of this, because I don't believe he was a vampire either. Nah. Doesn't sound like he was. Sound like this guy just walked into town and did whatever the fuck he wanted. Everyone believed him because they're stupid. Oh, uh, Nasty Mandy. To the super chat, says, hand over the bubbles and no one will get hurt. I guess you're saying that because we hit 100 likes on the stream. We are coming to the tail end of tonight's stream. Um, so thank you guys for being a great audience here. And a hell of a, whoa, and a hell of a supportive audience tonight. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Um, so yes, it is time for our 100, 100 likes celebratory bubble blow. Let's do that. Thank you all. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Hello, Matt. Good evening. How are you? All right. I just want to go talk to the asshole. And see what this is all about. Hopefully he fesses up. Save. Okay. I mean, there's room. I should carefully search the place for anything suspicious. What's this book? All right, I've discovered a small journal in Reynolds' room at the end. It seems he was part of a group of adventurers who uncovered an artifact of some sort from Aelid Ruins. They all agreed to stash this artifact in a cave until more research could be done about it. Each of them took a key to the chest and secured in. It was secured in, excuse me. The two other members of the group were Brayden and someone named Geliborn. I need to find out more about Geliborn to confirm my suspicions about Reyno. Olav may be able to help. Okay. So, it's some kind of a secret group who all knew something about some treasure, possibly. And they each have a key. And so he killed, he killed him, lied about it, and said that he was a... Vampire, so people would not basically, you know, second guess the murder, even though it literally sounds like cold blooded murder in order to get this key, right? Okay. Hello. What can Hello. I do for you today? All right, let's talk about Geliborn. Geliborn? That's odd that you should mention that name. Reynold told me that he was the last vampire. He oh, had. of course. He yeah, murdered him, right. too. Somewhere in Skingrad, I believe. He said he tracked Gelborn down and killed him. Wow. That's apparently why the guards trust him so readily. They had gotten word from Skingrad City Watch about Reynil and his so called accomplishment. Wow. It's messed up. Just look for me if you need anything else. I take it. So, uh, I think Reynolds is using the vampire as a cover story to get the keys to the chest where they stash this artifact. I think it's time to speak to Carius Runellis about Reynolds. He must be stopped. Who is Carius Runellis? The guy in the house? I guess so. Right, tell him what's going on. Well met. Do you do more damage if you're a vampire? Oh, I have no idea. I don't know how vampirism works in this. It was kind of weird in Skyrim. Hello. Oh, you're back. So, any new revelations in your... Mm, investigation? <laughs> uh, yeah, let's tell them about Geliborn. How do you know about that? Oh, too many people don't know how to keep quiet about official matters. Very well. The Skingrad City Watch informed us that Geliborn was killed by Reynold not too long ago. 
Gelleborn was a vampire as well. Oh, honestly. yes, of course. Of course he was. I disagree. What do you mean you disagree? That's a bold statement. What proof do you have that Gelleborn was not a vampire? I have no proof. Was I supposed to take the book? I have no proof with me. Then don't go around flinging accusations now. Keep up the. Um, I think I was supposed to get the book. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Let's go back. I have no proof with me. I foolishly left it. Hi. Okay, there we go. See, at first I thought it said steal, which is why I didn't want to take it. But it doesn't say steal. You can actually take it as a quest item. I didn't realize that. Vampires get a huge damage buff and look sick. Oh, yeah, but you also get flaws. Interesting. So it's a trade-off. Uh, so. What proof? Here it is, his journal. I, I don't know what to say. It all makes perfect sense now. Why else would Raynal have removed this journal from the crime scene in Skingrath? I heard no mention of a key either. It must have been removed by Raynal from Brayden's body before we arrived. Pretty messed up. To think that two innocent men were killed, and that I'm responsible for one of their deaths, I, I'm speechless. How is he responsible? I will he didn't do anything. guard and begin a search for him in the city. Meet me at Olav's Tap and Tack in one hour. Why the hell does he think that you're, he's responsible? He didn't do it. The other guy did it. It's weird. No, I never did a vampire playthrough of any of these games. No. Okay, here we go. I have much to tell you. Just before I arrived here, I received a report from one of our scouts watching the roads. Uh -oh. Raynal was spotted heading west out of Bruma. The scout tried to follow, but lost him in the mountains. The only cave to the west that comes close to the one described in Gelleborn's journal is Boreal Stone Cave. That must be where he's headed. You must get there before he acquires whatever artifact is being kept there and makes his escape. Hmm. I'm keeping the city guard in Bruma as Raynal doesn't know we're after him. If he sees a guard, he may panic and run. You're my only hope at the moment. Please, you have my authorization to do everything you can to bring him to justice. If he won't surrender, I think you know what to do. <laughs> Hurry. I fear you have a day at the most to stop him. If you can't get him to surrender, you just tweet at him repeatedly. Angry tweets and see what happens. Please. Um, all right. Well... Where are they telling me to go for this? To the west. There it is. Bore Boreal Stone Cave. So if I go to Cloud Ruler Temple and then head west, that's how I can get to it. Let's go to Cloud Ruler. And I think what we'll do is we'll save up. Is that it down there, maybe? Let's save up. And the next time around, when we resume with Oblivion, all right, we will do this quest. So here's the thing. At this point, as I said earlier tonight, it seems like all roads are now pointing to the Imperial City, right? Like, literally every quest is now like, oh, continue this to the Imperial City. Go to the Imperial City, right? So, I think when we play again in a couple of days, we'll we'll do whatever quest we have. We'll finish this quest. We'll see if there's any other odds and ends quests around. I think we do have, like, one or two more that possibly we could do. We could do Dark Brotherhood, but I think sooner rather than later at this point... We're going to end up in the Imperial City. I mean, even the major quest, the main quest of the game, <clears throat> is currently in the Imperial City. So I couldn't see us not ending up in the Imperial City at this point, okay? So thank you all. You guys uh, on stream here were a great audience. You were an incredibly supportive audience. I really appreciate that. Until next time, very nice.